Hi, and welcome back. Day two to our eight-week golf program. Um, 10 minutes a day, maybe 15, to a better game, more flexibility, um, stronger golf swing. Let's just get right to it. So we're going to start again today with sit to stand. So we just sit, and we stand. One minute for that. Just want to think about letting your arms lift as you sit and lower as you come up. Think about pushing through the feet and really activating your legs. Try not to bow forward too much. You want to keep that chest up. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. And if you're feeling like you're pretty fit and you want to just tap and come back up rather than actually sitting, we have 30 seconds more to go. From here, we're going to do a push-up. Your push-ups can be against the wall. They can be onto the chair, they can be down to the floor. We're going to do a full minute, but you're going to take a break anytime you feel like you need to. Um, Push-ups are challenging, so if you're on the wall, hands lower than shoulders, lean in, press back, all of your weight firming into your hands. If you're on the chair, you're bringing your elbows toward the ribs, pushing away. Elbows toward the ribs, pushing away. The back is not swaying. Keeping your abs engaged. A push-up is really a plank in motion. So if you're on your knees, you want to make sure that you're not sticking your butt out. We have 30 seconds to go. And your um, nose or your face is forward of your hands as you come down. So your elbows are lower than your shoulders. And if you're up on your toes, just make sure again that you keep that good form, you might go a little bit wider. Head is forward of the hands. Elbows are lower than the shoulders. Nice control, good breath. 30 seconds down, right back to our sit to stand wide. Just like day one, sit down, legs out wide. Push into the feet, step up. You can either sit or you can just tap, come right back up. This is a plie or a wide stance. Squat, really good for getting those glutes strong, really good for the, getting the legs strong, getting those inner thighs to work as well. And we need full hip strength to have a good swing and to have balance and stability in our swing and in our life. It's always a good thing. So we're more than halfway through a minute here. We're gonna do tricep dips next. Again, we don't want to bow forward too much. We have to shift our weight a little bit just to balance, but we don't want to lean forward like we're bowing. Okay, right to dips. Hands on your chair or your coffee table or your ottoman. Elbows come back and then push. Every time you press up, think that you're kind of squeezing an imaginary sponge under the armpit. And that's gonna help you really engage your lats as well and we're stabilizing our core as we move through those triceps, the back of the arm. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. The farther your feet are away, the more intense it is. The closer your feet are towards you, the less intense it is. So do what feels right to you. Remember, if it doesn't feel okay, don't do it. Take a break, do something else, go back to sit to stand. But push yourself, you want to challenge yourself as much as you can within good form to get the maximum amount of results. Beautiful. So now we're going to do a lunge runner stance. So we're not actually lunging, we're just going to take a stance of a lunge. Um, tilt your pelvis, tuck that tailbone down, just like we do with our arm circles. The pelvis doesn't move, and then we're going to go into a runner arm, and then we're going to speed that up. So we're stabilizing against the motion of the arms, getting strength and controlled momentum through the arms as we are getting stability through our lower body. Challenging the balance with the arm swings. When we hear the next ding, we'll switch and go to the other side. 
fast but controlled moving from the shoulder not from the elbows so it's not a chop it's a full arm swing right out of the shoulder joint on the other side lunge stance pick up the heel tuck the tailbone under and go keep that tailbone tucked under that's going to help you to stabilize the pelvis Press down into your feet. That's going to help you engage your legs. And then as fast as you can, you're using your core, your shoulders, your whole upper body as well. Thirty seconds to go. Great for balance. Almost there. 15 seconds, keep it going fast, keep those arms strong. Once we're done with this, we're going to come down and do a plank, and then we'll finish with a stretch. And here we are. So, plank, we want the elbows and the shoulders in line. We're going to keep the hands apart, not together, and that's just going to help us to really engage our upper shoulder upper back area as well tuck your toes and then straighten your legs so that your knees come off the floor those legs are going to stay engaged the whole time lift the pelvis tuck the tailbone shoulders stay in line with the elbows 30 seconds here we go keep breathing if you feel like you're straining or losing form, come on down, take a rest, come back up when you feel like you can. Making sure you're not letting that back sway. And also, we don't want to hold our whole back rounded or our butt up in the air either. So, kind of like you're a plank. And there we are. The knees, sit back to the knees as far as feels good to you. That may be a little bit. Or maybe all the way back, stretching through our back, through our hips, through our lats, and our shoulders. A few more deep breaths right here. Good. Take your time coming up from the floor. And then lace your hands, push the palms away, and lift up. Don't arch your back here. Have your feet be two parallel lines, about a fist width apart. And have a sense of pushing down through the feet and lifting up through the thighs, lifting up through the torso, lengthening up through the hands. And we'll hold that for 30 seconds. So each stretch is going to be 30 seconds. So tricep, I'm going to kneel so you can see my arm. Give yourself a pat on the back. And your other arm can either give it a little push from here or a little pull from overhead. Make sure you're not jutting your head forward to do that though. So if you have to push your head forward to come up, just stay here instead. So this tricep stretch is gonna turn into a lat stretch after our 30 seconds. And this is stretching, of course, the whole back of the arm, that tricep. So now I'll take that arm and pull it across and that turns it into a whole lat stretch here. Lat and shoulder. And then maybe dip your gaze up a little bit, and then your elbow is pushing into your hand, so you're kind of in an isometric contraction or hold. Then we're almost there. And then tricep on the other side, give yourself a pat on the back. Push from down below, or pull back from up top. And, and if you're standing, your legs are two parallel lines, we're trying not to back, arch the back, we're trying not to let the head jump forward. And you wanna think tall through your um, spine as well. So nice, long, tall spine. And then turning that into a lat stretch by Pulling that over, and that elbow's pushing back a little bit, so it's an engaged stretch. And we're stretching through those lats into that shoulder. And we're gonna hold that for our 30 seconds. 
And then we'll bring those arms behind us. And of course, you're probably standing up. I'm just kneeling so that you can see my arms in the camera. All right. Lacing your hands behind. Draw your shoulder blades in and then press the knuckles down. And even here, we're not coming into an arch. So we're staying just nice and tall. So we're opening across the front of the chest, stretching through our chest and the front of our shoulder as well. Once this uh, next bell goes up, we're done. Good job. So short and sweet, but each day we'll do a little something different, adding um, intensity, adding um, different moves to help with mobility, strength, flexibility through our hips, through our shoulders, through our back, strength through our core balance, all those things that are going to um, give us a, an advantage in our golf game. So here's some more joy on the golf course. Thanks for joining me. Bye.